comes up on an anchor in live.org. But um, <laughs> we have a lot of. I think we'll just, we're going to go right into the show. This should probably get better over time. So um, Joe Biseglia is our MC tonight. So everybody, please welcome Joe Biseglia, great Acorn supporter and performer. Uh, I'm honored to be here. Um, and I suppose the best way to start here is rather than me say something, I'm going to do, um, well, just let's get the party started. What do you say? But you don't play fair I need a woman that's on the square Have your fun, baby, if you must But before I have a woman I can't trust I'd rather drink muddy water Sleep in a hollow log This microphone always drives me the uh, harmonica. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm really honored to be here tonight to host this. How many of you uh, have been to the Acorn before? Okay. How many of you have not been to the Acorn Theater before? All right. This is a, an incredibly unique place. I mean, I'm uh, a Chicagoan by birth, although I live up in Michigan as well now. And there is just no place like this that I'm aware of in the entire Chicago metropolitan area or anywhere else that I've been. And it gives an opportunity to artists, young, medium, age, and older, to really display themselves and to maybe, perhaps at some point, get a, a really good start at doing this for a living, which, as you know, is not necessarily that easy. Uh, not Probably easier to win the Powerball lottery, maybe, but. Uh, all of you sitting here today may find out that uh, this is a memorable night because one of these people who came come up today may at some point uh, be playing in the United Center in Chicago and it may cost you like 500 bucks for a ticket. So 
you might remember being here. Um, this is a charitable organization, and it's very, very important that it be supported by charitable donations. And there is no place like this. And, it, and, it, and you're obviously music lovers. Many of you are here probably friends, family of some of the performers. And um, in, in addition to that, all the rest of you who just are here because you love music, please open up your pocketbooks and donate whatever you can afford to this institution. If you love music and you love to get people an opportunity to actually do this, um, it, I can't think of a better way to do it. So having said that, um, I want to point out that the judges tonight are, are accomplished musicians in their own right. Uh, the two, uh, Frank Sintich and Mark, who are here, who are the judges, are fabulous performers themselves, play, play uh, great guitar players, and, and some of them play other instruments, but they're also producers of music. And then I'm particularly honored to say that Terry Hemmert is one of the judges. And if any of you have been in the Chicago area for any amount of time, you know um, Terry Hemmert. And you know, we've all uh, listened to her over and over again. And I, I can't even begin to understand how intimidating it might be for these young performers <laughs> to perform in front of somebody who knows probably more about music than uh, all of us combined in the room today. So you, you, for, you forgot to mention I play French horn, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Despite that. <laughs> so uh, it's my honor to introduce the first act. As, as uh, Sandra said, there were probably about 40 people who submitted uh, uh, videos and so on to be considered for being one of the performers here. All of the music is original music, and uh, uh, it's an amazing array of people who I've had a chance to talk to briefly. Uh, and um, the, first, the first person that's going to come up um, as soon as I get my notes together here. Uh, there's a group called Almond and Ala. And it's unfortunate, but they, they actually submitted the, the video and their music together. But um, Ali, Ali Davidson is here to perform, but unfortunately Ali, Alman could not be here today. So uh, I'm sure that they had unbelievable harmonies. They won't be able to do them tonight, but I'm quite sure that Ali's going to make up for that. They have been on NBC's TV, The Voice, and they actually are making a living out of this, performing all over the United States, uh, generally booking their own shows all over. We're honored to have him tonight to perform as the first performer for you. So Ali, come on up. I think uh, making a living is all relative, right? But uh, we're getting by. Um, hi, uh, Theo. Good to see you. I'm a, I'm a Michigan guy. Uh, grew up in Kalamazoo. And uh, moved to Chicago when I was around 19 years old. Uh, I was playing, been playing music for a long time and figured that would be a good place to kind of make my hay. So uh, it's treated me well. And uh, as Joe mentioned, I usually sing with my singing partner, Natalie, uh, in our folk duo, Almond and Olive. Um, but she's unable to make it tonight. Uh, and I, I'm wishing her a speedy recovery. The last time I played solo was maybe six or seven years ago. And it reminds me of those coffee shop days when I was just playing in front of nobody hoping somebody could hear me through the, uh, the din of the latte machine and the toaster oven. Uh, as was mentioned, we were on The Voice this past season. Um, it's the last time we actually performed. Um, we did perform in front of judges, and it's nice to see that they're looking at me this time instead of the <laughs> chairs being faced the other way. I cannot tell you how weird it is to play in front of an audience that is just chairs and nothing else, because it was during COVID, so it was just a screen full of people and uh, empty chairs, or the backs of chairs. Um, but it was a fun experience, something I'll always remember, and I'm sure this will be another one. So 
This uh, song I'm going to play is called Lost in You. Uh, I wrote this one uh, sitting outside of a church in Ojai, California. Just beginning the start of the show. I don't know where you've been. I don't know where you'll go. But I can hold your hand even for a second. It'll make Someone has to go first. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Never done this before. Uh, and I'm glad we don't sit in those flip chairs. I get dizzy. <laughs> Probably throw up or something. But uh, anyway, I love your suit. It's very nice. You look very nice. Thank tonight. you, Terry. Thank and, you. Uh, and an and, and excellent guitar work and, and good dynamics. You come in stronger on certain things. That's, that's cool. And, uh, and good writing. And that one line, Blowing in the Wind, maybe you could do a song called Blowing in the Wind sometime. You know, that's I think good. Bob's got that covered. Oh, that's okay, right. sorry. You don't want the lawyers calling, but no, good job, good job. Thank you. Yeah, as Terry said, great presentation. You've got really great uh, uh, stage presence. Your writing is extraordinary. Um, you've got... Uh, your lyric content is, it tells a story. You can see it visually. Everything, is, it's very visual. In, um, in Nashville, we always talk about uh, making your lyrics look like a mini movie. Show us the song. We want to see the song. You're doing that. 
great, you know, you set us up right from the very beginning, putting us in the backyard. We can see everything that's playing out. Really great job on that. Yeah. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Your song structure is uh, great, the one, six, four, five, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Um, great movement going in between passages. Um, dynamically, spot on, pro. Good pro dynamics, that's important. You know, bring us, make the song organic, make it flow, make it come in and out, bring us in, you know, let us rest, bring us back in again. Did a great job. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I can only echo what they just said. Although 1645, that was my locker combination in high school. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll just say this. Uh, uh, I remember I was driving from San Francisco to Napa, and I stopped in Lodi uh, to use the bathroom. <laughs> and I, I can picture that your song, uh, I, and I was in, in my head, I was in Lodi. It's kind of like a, a John Prine version of a hopeless love song. And uh, I really loved it. It was really good, man. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Good luck to the rest of the performers. They're really fantastic. Thank you. Uh, we're next going to bring up Doug Harsh. Uh, he's a uh, South Bend, Indiana uh, troubadour. <laughs> he's no stranger to the Acorn Theater. He's been here and he's played in some tribute bands here as well. Um, and he, uh, he's going to do a song called The Kids Are All Right. Uh, it may be a little different from what he described in the program, but I thought this is really going to be a great lyricist because in what he submitted, he said that he sings songs with a heart covered in the dust of life with a sound that invokes the grand American story. Well, that's a great line for a song if you haven't already written it, Doug. All right, Doug Mark. How are you folks doing tonight? Man, it is so great to see so many faces. I'm gonna, I can hear the excitement that you're all happy to be together too. Um, I'm gonna sing you a song that's about some folks that have kind of a bad reputation. And they're folks who are the folks that are younger than you, right? Um, they they kind of get a bad rap because, you know, um, it doesn't matter if you're like 90 or if you're 10 years old, let's say you're 11 years old, there's probably a seven year old running around messing up the world for you. And so, so I wrote this song called Those Kids Are All Right because I think in the end it all works out. So I'd love to do that for you. I hope you enjoy it. It goes like this. Well, those kids are all right, they got stars in their eyes They're not afraid of trouble, hey, they might just start a fight They are falling forward, but not falling in line Every one of them is fearless, cause they're running out of time And every boy and girl is out to change the world Kids are all right, they got closets and secrets They then hiding in plain sight To escape from feeling different They are falling in love but not falling in line They've been hostage to the seasons One day they're gonna shine Cause every boy and girl Is out to change the world They're filled with questions I bet you've seen this a thousand times before. They don't need answers to know there's meaning lurking right outside the door. Those kids are all right. They got one thing more to say. They come to fight the power. Only truth get in the way. They are falling for something but not falling in line. No need to make excuses. They're gonna be just fine. Cause every boy and girl is out to change the world. Yes, 
Like this, they sing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Doug. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Any guy that plays an Epiphone master, Bill? <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah. Uh, good stage presence also. Good stage presence. Um, the, the hook, every boy and girl is out to change the world. It's a great hook. Thank you. A way to build the song around it. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, dynamically, the song moves along, um, it, it draws the audience in. When you go into the third verse and you're doing the percussive chunk stuff, it breaks it up just enough to kind of give it variation. Nice job. Thank you. Great job. Yeah. Thank Good song. So much. It's almost a pop song. It's almost a almost. pop song, man. Nice job. <laughs> it's, it's inches away from being a pop song. Inches away. No. Doug, no, no, good job. I, I enjoyed it, too. Uh, who doesn't love an uplifting song about children, right? I mean, it's pretty awesome. Absolutely. Um, I, I just wrote some notes, the uplifting, change, I love the change the world, and um, uh, I, again, and I, I know you were kind of wishing for everyone to sing along with you, and I, it was almost there, you almost had them, so, do, do, do. but uh, yeah, the do, do, do part, so hey, wake up people, come on, help them out, but <laughs> no, Doug, well done, thank Next you very much, around, we'll do really, really good buddy, thanks man, thanks. Terry? Okay, makes for uh, good bookends with Pete Townsend, the kids are all right, I love it. And uh, the reason I've been teaching at Columbia College for over 40 years, it, it constantly reminds me that the kids are all right, and I'm glad you're sticking up for them, because uh, nothing drives me crazier than go, kids these days. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I loved your topic and, and your performance. I, they said it all. They, they nailed it. But I went to a high school reunion a few years ago, and one of my uh, high school buddies said, Terry, don't you think? kids are really awful we were so special and I said get your head out of your wherever it is where it is and I said besides you live in Arizona what do you know about young people there are no young people there they're all old people and I come to my class at Columbia I'll show you some outstanding kids so thanks for uh, waving the flag for that because we need to be reminded of that I think awesome. I think this is a time for us to come together and not get further apart so good on you amen Next performer uh, actually is a, a, a junior in high school, all right, and she's been playing the piano since the time she's been about six years old and has written um, a number of songs. Um, her name is Isabella Puya. Uh, this song, she, she told me, is called Ashes of Dreams, and it's a brilliant title in the sense that um, what, what I think she's going to sing about is how everyone has these dreams, but they have to be prepared also, maybe for the ashes. Um, because, as I said, uh, it can be very difficult to become or to make a living doing this, but we're all wishing her the best. Isabella Puya. doing well today. I just want to say how honored and thrilled I am to be able to be with all these amazing musicians and see all this talent around the room, which is really like inspiring to watch everyone perform and do what they love. Um, so today I'll be performing one of my original songs called Ashes of Dreams, and basically it's about how sometimes you have to make such a big sacrifice to achieve your dreams, but if you don't, you have to live with the guilt of knowing you could have reached it, but you didn't. So it's like you're burning your own dreams.
Thank you, Ed. I cannot burn out painful kisses of flames. Oh, I need an angel to help me bring the ashes out of my dreams. Every dream is a flame. You can chase after me, but never the other way. Oh, I need an angel to help me catch you without burning and there's no one to blame but myself for having ashes of dreams oh ashes of dreams oh there's no one to blame but myself for having ashes of dreams oh give you so please let me go break the circle oh I need an angel to help me bring the curse out of this blessing you're the battle in me and there's no point in trying to compete oh I need an angel to help me find a way we're both winning and I lock you away a hundred times each day cause I can't face the truth I feel lost without you Hello. Uh, you got a lot of fans tonight. That was a beautiful uh, applause for your song. Uh, first of all, obviously you're you know you're very talented. You can sing, you can play, you can write songs. I love the uh, metaphoric uh, title "Ashes of Dreams." It's very personal uh, to an artist. If you don't try, you don't make it, and um, uh, you strive for that. The only critical thing I, I would say about your performance is. 
uh, it was kind of a free form song, and maybe you wrote it that way. I was waiting to hear like a more of a rhythm, and maybe that song you didn't see it that way when you wrote it. But otherwise, the the, the lyrics were beautiful. Um, loved your performance, and I'm so sorry about your knee. What the hell happened? Here? Oh, I fell off my bike. Feel bad for you. <laughs> I fell off my bike like a week ago. Uh, Isabel, v very very well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, back to our theme of the kids are all right. Uh, you are off to a great start at, at your age, and the, your composure and your stage presence is really good, and that doesn't always happen with somebody that still has the word teen in their ear. You know, but, uh, but that's very good. D have you studied classical piano? No. No? Okay, but... No. I but don't... Sorry, go No, ahead. go ahead. Oh, I don't know how to read or write, so I just... I never really... Learn from the books. I just don't okay. know. <laughs> well, you know, Paul McCartney doesn't know how to read or write either. <laughs> and he taught himself how to play piano. And the thing I would recommend is to broaden the base of your piano playing, to maybe study some classical music and get some different dynamics in that way. The, I love the fact that you had dynamics and you didn't just, you know, some people like flatline with dynamics. And, and uh, But I would suggest that you try to get um, the contrast going in the other direction, more softer parts, because sometimes the louder parts just over modulated and it, it just got muddy. You weren't at your best at the, those, so maybe try moving it the other way, but I like the fact that you have dynamics and, and you really are off to a good start. You have good stage presence and don't ever get on a bike again, okay? okay? You could break your fingers, you know? <laughs> but good luck to you. You're very Thank good. you. So help me understand something. You didn't study music? Sorry, what? You don't study music? You didn't study music? Um, I took lessons from like fourth grade to eighth grade. Okay. But I, I never got, I never could read. I don't know. It just didn't work out. Okay, so you, in your pre-course version, you're going from a major five to a diminished seven to a minor six. How do you know to do that if you didn't study music? That's, I mean, that shows a sophistication that really is innate. It's really, it's, it's something that you've obviously been born with. Keep going. It, keep going. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, um, the next performer, his name is Michael Ching. Um, as a contrast, uh, this, this is something. I mean, he is a, he writes and produces opera music, okay? Um, and he's, uh, you know, you can read the, the bio, I think, that was in the, on the website. But um, amazingly, he's just, this is one of the first times he's performed by himself, okay? And um, he, uh, he's gonna perform a song called Crush Apples With Me. So, you know, a classical composer and producer uh, is gonna perform on stage for his very first time doing this by himself. Michael Ching. I am tickled and delighted to be here. I feel like a kid let out of school. And, you know, there's this question that is a little, considered a little bit impolite to ask when you first meet someone, but it's not considered impolite to answer the question before it's asked. And the answer is, I am a third generation Asian American from Honolulu. So, um, so I have, and when you're a third generation Asian American from Honolulu, you're not supposed to do things like write songs. So I've gone into opera, it's been a good ride. Um, Michigan Opera did a piece of mine a couple, of, two years ago actually. And um, so, but I've always liked to write songs on the side.
Now, the other, the other reason, thank you, that I am tickled and delighted to be here is that I've been asked to sing a ballad. I mean, this is an up-tempo world songwriting. You know, it's like, show me your up-tempo, up-tempo this, up-tempo that. So it's really fun to be um, asked here to sing this ballad called Crush Apples With Me in this beautiful area of orchards and vineyards. Well, I've been playing in a rock and roll band But now I'm pushing 30 Getting too old for sleeping in a van Getting home at 4 a.m. All smoky, sweaty, and dirty So I've been thinking of settling down My family owns an orchard About three hours from town I want to make apple cider the old-fashioned way So I'm looking for someone To crush apples with me It's hard to meet someone When you're playing in a band It's lonely on the road Sticking around and winding it down. Take it steady, take it slow. So if you love the fruits of the land, and if you believe in the labor of your hands, then I could take you up there. It's just three hours from town and you could try to crush apples with me. Why don't you come and try to crush apples with me? Okay, talk about playing to your bass here in Apple Country. <laughs> I don't know if it'd go over so well in Arizona, you know, it's just, <laughs> but it's, you're really spot on on that. And you're something that a lot of people uh, find difficult, and that is your original. You have a very unique and original style, and your, your lyrics and your delivery and your smile. Thank and, you. Uh, and that's, that's, you can't buy that, you know, <laughs> that's, that's really, uh, that's good. And we all love dealing with midlife crises. Uh, so you're playing to your audience again, looking around. I see. Oh yeah, back when I was 30, that seems so long ago. Uh, and, but do, do, do you realize that when we when we're writing at that point in our lives, when we're 30 years old, we feel so old. And it reminds me of that Dylan line. I was so much older than I'm younger than that now. So you're younger than springtime. Keep it up. <laughs> I've I've tried to pitch this song in Nashville, and they think it's too too dark. <laughs> <laughs> but it's real because when you're in a band, when you're in the business, everybody unless you totally immersed with groupies, and I don't know anything about that, but uh, it, it is an isolating thing, and all you want to do is just settle down and meet the right person, so you, you, again, you're reaching your base, you know, you're talking to people that are in search of that, too, so that's, that's a nice connecting skill you have there. <laughs> Mahalo. Ah. <laughs> Mahalo. Thank you. As someone who pitches songs in Nashville, they, yeah, you're right. They find You Are My Sunshine too dark. <laughs> yeah, I understand. 
Um, great delivery, great performance. Uh, your writing style reminds me a lot of kind of a cross between Warren Zevon and Randy Newman. And, and that real kind of Take it. edgy, sardonic kind of wit. Um, a great job. Uh, again, plays out like a mini movie, very visual, which is very important. Uh, from the first lyric, it draws you in. And we're with you along with the ride, man. Nice job, Michael. Thanks. Michael. Wow. <laughs> I, really love, I really love the courage that you have to write a song like that and play it, because it's very, like Terry said, it's very original, it's very unique. And I'm gonna ask you, are you influenced by Billy Joel on the piano? Who, who isn't in well, okay, the piano? Okay, well, yeah, yeah. that's a yes, okay. And it's, it reminded me like if Billy Joel and Steve Martin wrote a song together, that would be <laughs> it, so. But I, listen, I really, really, I did like it. Uh, I have been to some of the orchards here in, in, in town. Yeah, I've been up here for 14 years, and uh, uh, you, you painted a picture very well, so. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you very Uh, I think it's time that we paid some homage to Jamie here, who is the yeah. sound engineer. Um, I've been at the Acorn a lot, and I got to tell you, this is just superb what he's doing with the uh, with the sound today. Um, this next, there's so many great stories here with these performers, but this one, um, Scott and Leela were the ones who auditioned. Uh, but again, Leela. The other half of Scott Hildebrand's uh, musical partnership, uh, and it's Scott Hildebrand who will be coming up. She's in, in Germany uh, because she couldn't get back here at the last minute for some reason. I forget, maybe Scott will explain it to you. But this is the true Ed Sheeran story. I mean, he basically you know, grew up around here in Chicago and the suburbs, and then just went out and started playing music all over Europe, busking you know, standing on the street corner, uh, whatever, and met uh, Leela uh, in Berlin, and that's where she's stuck right now and can't get her to play, but they've been together about six years. So uh, it's a fascinating story, uh, and their song, maybe he'll introduce it, it's called Serafina. And, and this is a story in itself, maybe he'll explain it more briefly because we've got to move the program along, but he wrote this for somebody he met in India who just broke up with the woman he loved, and her name was Serafina. Scott Hildebrand. All right, how's it going? So, there's a few details that are a little mistaken. No, but it's all good. We, yeah, but so, I don't know. So we, we applied to this festival, or this contest, with a song called Told You Once, a song that Leela and I wrote. And yeah, so I was, when we found out that Leela couldn't get in the country because of COVID restrictions, two days before actually, um, I decided to play another song, one of my original songs called Serafina, but then I was told I should play the other one, so I have to ask the judges which I should play. I could play Told You Once, which is the Scott and Leela one, or Serafina, the solo one, but what, what should I do? Yeah, I pick what you want, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Freebird. <laughs> yeah. I could do Freebird too. Yeah. Because Told You Once definitely sounds better with Leela. So I'm going to do Serafina. And yeah, so I wrote this song for my friend and his girlfriend. And they were broken up. And he asked me to write a song about all their travels through India on a motorcycle. So all the lyrics are about that. And they've since broken up, actually. But the song is alive and kind of time capsule of their loves. Cool, so here it is. Serafina, what makes me think of you? Was it the farmhouse where we met? Or your black frames looking back? 
Serafina, what makes me think of you? Is it the cute things that you do? Let's ride my Enfield made for two. I tell my best friends all about you and the way you always do. Drink your chai tea way too sweet. Black sketches on your feet. From Jodhpur, the blue city, to the camels and Beacon R. In Mumbai, give too much cash. Get in plastic instead of hash. Serafina, what makes me think of you? Was it the farmhouse where we met? Or your black frames looking back? Serafina, what makes me think of you? Is it the cute things that you do? Let's ride my and feel made for two. And go out here today, slapping all the way. Been such a crazy trek, finally reconnect. Serafina, what makes me think of you? Was it the farmhouse where we met? Are your black frames looking back? Serafina, what makes me think of you? Is it the cute things that you do? Let's ride my and feel made for two. Serafina, what makes me Thank you. So thank you. I think it's check it, check, check. I don't know what song. I don't know what song was the other one, but you picked the right one. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Great song. Uh, really, really good job. Um, you, just, you remind me of David Rawlins. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, David and, yeah, and Jillian Welsh, yeah, with the parlor guitar. And yeah, yeah it's uh, a song, and I was waiting. You said it was a song about India and writing through India, and I was waiting for something that would draw us in melodically or cordially mm -hmm. into either Hindustani or, or um, it's Carnatic. Carnatic? Carnatic, no, actually Carnatic. Yeah. Uh, melodicism that would bring us into that. Um, but then it didn't either. It's a great song, great presentation. You got such an ease about your performance. Mm -hmm. Pro, good job. Thanks so much. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing I, 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 I'm going to say love about you, Scott, is um, you probably like get up in the morning and before you brush your teeth, you're playing your guitar, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah, and before b the ags and anything else, and based on the uh, that guitar, you know, I've, I've got several at home, and that guitar is you played about a thousand songs a thousand times on that guitar, yeah. um, and it's like a, a, a pair of, of 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 old shoes that feels so comfortable that you'll never get rid of it because it's your guitar that you've played over and over. Um, I, you you and I watch you play. It's like and I heard I heard Howard Stern say this about Eddie Van Halen. He said, man, that guitar looks so comfortable on you. And that's, that's how I saw you just now. It's like, that's, a, that's like your jacket. It's, your, it's, it's like part of you. It's like your third arm. Yeah. Uh, and and the, song, the song was awesome. I was singing harmonies to the chorus. I loved it, man. Yeah. Good job. Thank you so much. If you had your guitar case open on the stage, I would have thrown a 20 in there. I would have. I, I have CDs over there. You okay. Know? <laughs> there you go. How much? <laughs> 10 bucks, but it has a euro sign, but it, oh. I'm just saying $10. Okay, cool. For $5, I'll let you win. No. <laughs> Eddie's, no, Eddie's, just kidding, just Eddie's. Kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But uh, my advice to you is not to buy a new guitar, because they, they were actually, these gentlemen, absolutely uh, right, that that is an instrument that's an extension of you, and there's yeah. an intimacy in your singing that it's not that you sound like Donovan, but you remind me of Donovan in that intimacy where you feel like you're 
in the room alone with you, and that's cool. And, um, and also, I can't believe that these people didn't get back together again after they heard that song. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with them? <laughs> no, but it's, it's magic. I mean, it was just a perfect song, perfect performance. Thank you Good so job. much, Taylor. Sure. Good job. Okay, last but not least, uh, we have finally Will Foncher. Um, and uh, he is um, a, a musician, obviously, uh, by way of what he says, Boston and Nashville. And he's also a writer, and he actually wrote for Second City in Chicago. Uh, and he's going to perform a song, I think, unless he changes it to called Moonlight and Miller, which ought to be interesting. Uh, Will Foncher. And before he gets up here, all I have to say is good luck to the judges. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good evening. Uh, give it up for everyone else who's been performing here today. Been, everyone's been fantastic. Yeah. All right. And then before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, me and Doug and Joe's shared sponsor, Holtzman's Harmonica Holders, 86 in Cottage Grove, Chicago. When your hands are busy, you need a Holtzman. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get started. Um, this is a song, uh, my name is Will Fancher. Uh, this is a song called Moonlight and Miller Light. It is about people getting back together. Hmm? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Does that sound right? Good, thank you. Stay with me all night, moonlight and middle light. And don't you know it'll be all right, right by my side. Stay with me all night, moonlight and middle light. You got a smile shine so bright, I won't let it hide. Pack my bags for 40 years. I see you crying by 40 tears. So let's open up 40 beers and have ourselves a ball. I pack my bags for 40 years. I see you crying by 40 tears, 40 tears. It ain't as sad as it appears. It ain't nothing at all. And I smoke camels made of candy. And I rode horses made of wood And I'd be a tougher act to follow Boy, if I could Play some music and smoke some green Off the wall and Billie Jean My next door neighbor ain't so mean I know she won't complain Play some music and smoke some green Off the wall and Billie Jean, Billie Jean I should have treated you like a queen And not a ball and chain And I smoke camels made of candy and I rode horses made of wood And I'd be a tougher act to follow Boy, if I could Time keeps ticking down, my friends And soon we'll be in the ground, my friends Before we go, let's paint the town, my friends And I smoke camel woo, made of candy And I rode horses made of wood And I'd be a tough 
Stay with me all night, moonlight and miller light. Don't you know it'll be all right, right by my side. Thank you. Hey, Will. How are you? Hi. You, Hi. you feel pretty good? Yeah. Feels good up there, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, songwriting is hard, man. It really is. Sometimes songs come to you, and sometimes they take time to, uh, to, to work out. And I don't know if that one came to you quickly or you had to work it out, but I really love that song. I was, like, producing this song already, and <laughs> sitting here like, oh, I, uh, that D was, is a power chord, right? And you play yeah. the D, it's a power chord. Uh, people know what a power chord is, you know. Wow, power chord. But no, I love the song. Uh, keep going, man. Keep working. I, I love the harmonica. You're, you're like a, a folk singer, but that song, I'm hearing that song produced like, like a rock song, but yeah. with a total folk edge to it. And I th what else did I write? I wrote, oh, yeah, I wrote down the power chord. I love the power chord. Oh, just tell me the significance of, uh, how did you come up with the 40 years? That's a long time. 40 tears, 40 years. I, I love that part of the song. Is there right. any significance to that? Just, or just like, a rhyme and it's, it's none. Okay, cool. All right, well done, man. Thanks, Will. Thanks, buddy. Good luck to you. Thank you. Well, now I know where to buy a harmonica brace. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Good. That was good. I was producing you, and actually, it was more like John Prine. Uh, you mm. got some of that folky stuff, and Thanks. that's uh, Thank that's good. That's good. I think the most difficult part of songwriting is to be unique and original and that's tricky but and and you followed a lot of really incredible people which doesn't yeah. make it any easier yeah, but that yeah. would be the one thing i would say to to keep trying to find those word combinations or a twist in the song mm -hmm. to make it stand out from other songs that sound like it that's a daunting challenge but i think you have the talent to do that Thanks. and that was a, an excellent song you did but to take it to the next level mm -hmm. that's something to think about okay, okay? thank you Thank you. I, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I can get you to work with me to to uh, to pitch this song to Billy Currington. Well, you, Man, you, I'm right I mean, here. It's, it. it's right up that alley. <laughs> you got the Nashville formula. In in Nashville, it, the mantra is "Don't bore us, get to the chorus." Yeah. You did that in the second line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're hitting us over, the, and you've got some amazing lines in here. Uh, the candy cigarettes, great, and uh, the line that really knocked me out was, uh, I'd be a tougher act to follow if I could. Yeah. That's, that's maturity and that's sophistication. That's great. You sound like you're pitching songs in County Q or The Parlor. Um, those are places in Nashville where yeah, you, yeah. you pitch songs. So. Great, great job, man. Thank you very much. Very, very Thank cool. You. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so judges, you guys are getting dismissed, and I wish you luck. <laughs> so the judges are going to be going back in the, in the green room, and they have to narrow the top six down to the top three. While they're gonna do that, we've got a couple of special per performances. Joe Visaglia, our fantastic MC for tonight. Thank you, Joe. Joe's gonna do a song for us, and then we've got two um, kind of surprises for you. We've got our 2019 singer-songwriter winner, Priscilla Sab Sabarin, and then the 2020 winner last year, Dylan Reed Levitt. So they're gonna come up too during our time while we're waiting for the judges to deliberate. By the way, have you guys gotten on acornlive.org? Yeah? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, good. We're getting there. So what's going to happen once um, the judges come back is those top three that are chosen will each perform another original song, and then it'll be time to vote. All right, Joe. 
Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is buy one of those Fincher uh, harmonica holders. That's why I <laughs> Here's a, uh, I'm going to do a cover of a song uh, which many of you have heard. I thought it was one of the greatest lyric lines of the last 50 years. Um, and it's a story about someone who's way up on top of the world with all of the power and glory and then is sweeping the streets that he used to own, which is just a great lesson in humility, which we seem to be a little light on these days. <laughs> I used to rule the world Seas would rise when I gave the word Now in the morning I sleep alone Sweep the streets I used to own I used to roll the dice, see the fear in my enemy's eyes, listen as the crowd would sing. But now the old king is dead, long live the king. One minute I held the key, but then the walls, they closed on me, and I discovered that my cat still stand upon pillars of salt, pillars of sand. I hear Jerusalem bells are ringing, Roman cavalry choirs are singing. Be my mirror, my sword and shield, missionaries in a foreign field. For some reason I can't explain, once you go, there was never, ever an honest word. But that was when I ruled the world. It was a wicked and wild wind Head down the doors to let me in Shattered windows and the sound of drums Well, I couldn't believe what I'd become Revolutionaries wait For my head on a silver plate Just a puppet on a lonely string But now who would ever want to be king? Bells are ringing, Roman cavalry choirs are singing. Be my mirror, my sword and shield. Missionaries in a foreign field. For some reason I can't explain. I know Saint Peter won't call my name. Never an honest word, but that was when I ruled the world. Thanks, Joe. All right, Priscilla. Priscilla Sabarin. There she is. Come on, Priscilla. So Priscilla right now, so this is a really cool project we put together. We have a Carol King. Um, we're calling it the Music of Carol King. And August 13th, the women will be here performing it. Priscilla's in this group. In fact, four of the five women in that particular show 
all were finalists in over the past couple of years in the singer-songwriter finals. By the way, does anybody know how many years we've been doing this? Nine. This is our ninth. It's awesome. This is uh, definitely one of our favorite events during the year. All right, so this is Priscilla Sabrin, and she won 2019 singer-songwriter. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, yes, my name is Priscilla Sabrin. I won in 2019, and I will not talk much, but um, I do just want to say that this night is incredible, and I was so excited to get asked to perform, not only just because I got to see these incredible performers. Every single performance, I was like, <laughs> they're absolutely amazing, but also this is just such a cool night. Like, the singer songer competition will always have a special place in my heart because it was one of the main events that led to me taking a gap year after high school, and instead of um, studying elementary education, changing my major to commercial music and starting to pursue music full time. So, thank you. <laughs> so, I am always happy to su support this event in any way. So, without further ado, this is the song that got me into the um, top eight or top whatever uh, 2019. This is Ms. Gatsby. A little bit of high school reading for you. <laughs> to spend another minute with you so you can call me miss gatsby like jay my passion is frantic parties each night for you by my side i'm a 1920s romantic dance floor kiss me a little more darling that's where we thrive so pull me close and let your hair down it's gonna go all night just don't forget to sneak away and meet me in the moonlight if Gatsby and Daisy are too Of the acorn.
Lauren. Okay. Um, so we actually, we got, I got the luxury of performing two songs during your intermission. Um, and I also forgot to introduce my good friend, Drew Stoltz. Uh, he is the, yes, he is phenomenal. Uh, the guitar player for Stolen en the band Stolen Enterprise on all streaming services. And I steal him for every performance I can. In the Carol King shows, he's there with me. Um, and he's going to play on this next song, too. This is, um, this is my most uh, recent original that I released. It's um, on all streaming services, if you want to check it out. <laughs> Under my name, Priscilla Sabrin. But this is All My Midnights. Thank you so much. This was such an honor. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Priscilla. Thank you, Drew. She's awesome, right? <laughs> 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 
And now we're going to bring up Dylan Reed Levitt, and Dylan won last year's competition, which we held outdoors on Jamie Wagner's farm. Jamie is our sound tech. Um, he bought a farm in Three Oaks and is now living here full time and is now doing sound for us. And we're so thankful, Jamie, and appreciative. <laughs> Dylan. All right, please welcome Dylan Reed Levitt. How's it going, everyone? So uh, this first song uh, comes from a place of bitterness, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I look around me at school, and I see all these, all these people wearing what they're told to wear, wearing what they're supposed to wear, and then there's me, and people are like, what's that manly-looking girl doing? <laughs> And um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> because I may be a manly woman, but I am good at it. <laughs> this song is called Not One of You Yet. Oh, 
thank you. <laughs> See, bitter, I told you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, this next song um, I, I actually wrote recently, and uh, I'm releasing it soon on pretty much every platform. Um, it's coming out later this month. Uh, it's called Toadstool. I'm just a creature on a toadstool. While all the other bugs are out at the tide pool. They talk of friends and things we call old school. And I thought the distance was cool. Now among them all is you. My eyes look awkward on my face. At least I don't have to look both ways. But eagle eyes aren't always fair when I can see you everywhere. I know what you'd say exactly, so it's not even worth asking. Sit with me on my toadstool in the junkyard. Hear the traffic in the distance, but you don't have to listen. As long as one way or another, we get over the odor and we catch flies together. My toadstool's gonna rot away. Let this happen. The gills of my toadstool start to blacken. Cause you hate how I stick to you like statin or dandelion seeds when I wish on what could have been. Sit with me on my toadstool in the graveyard. Sparrows in the distance, I kind of want to listen. As long as one way or another, we get over the losses and we catch flies together. My toadstool's gonna rot away. Bitter toad without a home. Running her hand along the tombstone. It's hard to reconcile when you keep acting like a child. Could you go the extra mile and sit with me? Thank you. Thank God this is in jeopardy. I'd really be bad at that. <laughs> um, all right, so the three finalists are as follows. Will Foncher, Scott Hildebrand, 
and Ali Davidson. Um, uh, you know, an amazing display of talent here today, uh, and uh, thank you for supporting us. And now we're going to have them come up and do another song, and then uh, you will be the judges in the final analysis of who should be the, the winner. So, uh, I guess, Will, would you come out, please? You know what, while we have a minute here, because I think they're still getting ready. Again, this, this, or, this theater is unique as far as I know. And it's a place where if you're a lover of music and you're supporting musicianship, um, this is the place you want to be and it's a place you would like to support. So please, if you can and if you're in a position to donate, uh, whether you've bought seats or, you've, or, or you haven't, uh, please. There are a lot of ways to pay. You can go on the website and make a donation to the Acorn Theater. Uh, you can use a credit card. Uh, you can write a check and mail it in or hand it to somebody on the way out. Anything you can do to this wonderful, for this wonderful place would be greatly appreciated. Hey, everybody. Thank you. All right. Uh, this song is uh, for the moms out there. It's called Mama Raised Hell. Excuse me. Let's try that again. Well, Sheriff, call me out behind the school again Cigarette on my lips and a switchblade comb It's a little late for you to be out, my friend Your mama's worried sick, now let's get you home I say my mama's just jealous, trying to keep me down Cause she never lived a minute in this dead in town Sheriff laughed and said, boy, is that what you really think? He said, your mama was wild, your mama was crazy Dancing at the opera in a pair of days He said, man, you should have seen her back in 92 Your mama raised hell before she raised you Your mama raised hell before she raised you I say that don't sound like my mama at all She was a born ass daughter then a born ass wife She's got live, laugh, love on a kitchen wall I think she's only done water in her whole damn life She has something you don't want what you don't know She got her fingerprints up and down music row And if those walls can talk, they tell you the very same thing Say your mama was wild, your mama was reckless Breaking in the readers was to borrow a necklace Your mama was wild, your mama had flash Betting on a ponies with giant their cash Your mama was wild, your mama would inspire us Pretty sure she helped to live a mile Cyrus Man, you should have seen her back in 92 Your mama raised hell before she raised you Well, your mama raised hell before she raised you door when we pulled up giving every dirty look that she ever knew sheriff said this boy has got his mama's good luck i'ma let him off the hook but just for you mama looked him up and down and bit her lip sheriff acted like he did and noticed it and suddenly i wondered why the hell he looked so much like me 
He said, your mama was wild, your mama was able. Drank and Randy Travis right under the table. Your mama was wild, your mama was nice. Giving Willie Nelson some tax advice. Saying your mama was wild, your mama could swing. Bigger hell than dollar plus a couple of other things. Yeah, your mama was wild, your mama could handle. Wanna go to the field of a Charlie Daniels. Your mama was wild, your mama found Jesus. Talking like a Roberts with old Bocephus. Man, you should have seen her back in 92. Whoa, whoa, your mama raised hell before she raised you. 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 Thank you. So, um, so what's going to be happening is we've got two more to go, of course. But when you get on your devices, we won't be opening the voting up till after the third person performs. And we're going to keep the, vo the uh, vote voting time open for five minutes. So if you can't get on right away, it's okay. I mean, I, think, I don't know what it's going to be like, all of us jumping on at the same time. But um, don't panic. If, just wait a couple of minutes if you're not getting on right away. All right. So we now are bringing on... Scott Hildebrand. All right, Scott Hildebrand. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to play a song called Mississippi River, and it's a song I wrote about the music that I love that came from Memphis back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. And I don't know, I'm going to try something, if, if y'all are feeling it, to sing along for one part. I don't know. We could do a little practice round. So I'm, I'm going to go like this. Down to the river. And you all go, down to the river. All right, should we do a practice round? Here we go. Down to the river. Down to the river. Yes. OK, you're ready. Sounds good. <laughs> I've been to Memphis, to Tennessee Son bought me cash, and presently I tried hard, tried to make it real Bring back the past, that slap back feel Driving down the road, not by myself Out the blues in my bones, country rhythms underneath my wheels Those records spin Still be their life. Magnolia trees, that southern spice. Big Mama Thornton and Memphis Slim. Hondals keep barking, better let them in. Driving down the road, not by myself. Out the blues in my bones, country rhythms underneath my wheels. Turn off your TV, switch off your phone, dance freely cause you're not alone. Pick up a groove, a little lick, shake and move, make your heart tick. Driving down the road, not by myself. Out the blues in my bones, country rhythms underneath my wheels. All right, ready for your part? Here we go. Go down to the river. Down to the river, go down to the river, all down to the river, go down, all down, go down.
I've been to Memphis, to Tennessee. Stax brought me Otis and Booker T. They worked hard, brought us that soul. I'll sing it now, cause it never gets old. Driving down the road, not by myself. I let the blues in my bones, country rhythms underneath my wheels. All right, let's see the last time. Here you go. Go down to the river. All oh, down to the river. Go down to Three Oaks. Go down to the river. Go down. All down. Thank you. You know, uh, recall that when you're doing your voting, uh, that, that was Scott Hildebrand, but he and the next uh, performer, Ali Davidson, they're in the program as du duos with the women who couldn't make it. I'm just hoping that they're not too upset that these guys got into the finals by themselves. But I can... <laughs> so, but make sure you know who those artists are. There, it was uh, um, Scott and Leela, who is in here, and then uh, it was Almond and Olive is Ali Davidson's um, duet duo. Ali, come on out. I want to thank the Acorn Theater for having us all today and all the people that put this together. These things are not easy. This is a nonprofit. Nonprofits are very near and dear to my heart. So please, if you have not given some sort of tithe or gift or donation, please do. And give a thanks and a round of applause for all these wonderful people who put this together, as well as our performers here tonight. I've been writing songs for I'm embarrassed to say it, but for many years. And at this point, I think I've written hundreds and hundreds of songs. And at this moment, which song do you choose? It's a competition, you want to show that you know what you're doing and you want to impress the audience and you want to give a good show. In, on New Year's Eve of this year, my dad, unexpectedly passed away. And on Wednesday was his birthday. A few weeks ago, I wrote this song. And I said, if I made it to the finals, I would play it. I'm already breaking up. I don't even know how I'm going to get through it, <laughs> to be honest. But I'm going to do my best. So uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So happy birthday, Dad. This one's for you. I see your pictures on the wall. See your memories are strewn across the floor. I hear your voice inside the silence of the night. There was a darkness in your heart. You had everything, but now. It's torn apart And I wish that there was more I would have done Now I live with it Now I live with it Can't 
believe that you're gone I can't hide from it I can't run from it now that you're gone Thanks, Ollie. Okay. Get your phones, acornlive.org. Um, and you'll see, actually, right there underneath the picture, it'll have go, uh, what, it, vote now, or whatever it says. Um, what? Yep. Watch live or vote. Yep. Back up on stage, please. So um, the first thing I want to do is bring up Art Weibel. Art, for the last eight years, has sponsored the cash prizes that we give out. It's $1,000 to the winner, $300 to the second place, and $200 to the runner-up, which um, I'll, I remember the first year. Yeah, so the first year, I don't really remember how much we gave, but it was a little, bit. A little a lot, a lot, a lot of bit lower. <laughs> and he came up to me afterwards and he said, no, no, no. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> and, he, and then he said, so I want to, yeah, I want to sponsor it. Yeah. We're waiting, waiting for the checks. What else should we tell them while we're waiting? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just tell them to keep supporting this. This is one of the great events that anybody's ever going to go to. <laughs> Support it.
runner-up, $200. Ollie Davidson. Second place, Will Frank Chair. So, <laughs> it looks like we know who the winner is. <laughs> Scott Hildebrandt. Thank you. So, is there any way we can, uh, Scott, is there any way we can ask for another song? One more song from Scott? Yeah? Can you? Okay. We said this before everybody, um, before the winners started this competition here tonight, that every single one of them are winners. They're just really, honestly, by the time they get here, it's more subjective, right? It's who you end up loving. And all of them are winners. And quite frankly, as I've said before, we pull from finalists from all the years. We don't, it's just, it's finding, you know, a certain show, a certain fit, the right person for the right event. And we're just, I have to say, so grateful, so thrilled to have these performers on our stage and to have support from you guys the way you do. So thank you. Okay, Scott. Wow, thank you so much, so cool. And yeah, thank you. All the performers are incredible. That's why I feel like competitions are kind of weird because I loved everyone who's playing here and I'm sure you all feel the same. So it's like so cool. And thank you all for sharing your music. And regardless of winning or losing competitions, it's so important that people believe in themselves and continue to do music and share art. So yeah. So I'm going to play a song um, called Under Wraps. And I wrote this song a few years ago and recorded it in Berlin uh, with my now girlfriend and band. And it's on my CD and Spotify, all that. It's called Under Wraps. And maybe just the sound guy is going to get it pretty loud just to let you give a disclaimer. Thank you. I tried to tell you, but I don't know all the answers. Promises end up in disaster. The wrinkled pages of a journal kept me farther from you. It's time to show you I'm no master. Keys go to locks, you open faster. The dissipation of a love that was under attack from the beginning. You had your fun, fun, fun But now you run, run, run All oh, they won, won, won Time seems to tick a little faster The world rushes by even after Slow those feet and feel what's really going on you had your fun, fun, fun But now you run, run, run All oh, they won, won, won Fun, 
fun, fun. But now you run, run, run. All they want, want, want. Slow your feet and feel the heat of what's really going on. It's on every corner and every street and everyone's fun long. It's under wraps. Oh, it's under wraps. It's under wraps. Oh, it's under wraps. You had your fun, fun, fun. But now you run, run, run. All they want, want, want. Time seems to tick a little faster. The world rushes by even after. Thank you so much. And thank you, the judges and the sound guy and Sandra and everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.